guys and welcome back to my latest video. Um, today I want to talk about multidisciplinary rounding and I've actually had quite a few questions come up recently about this and um, I kind of just didn't realize that people actually cared to know about this but um, obviously you guys do and so I want to talk about rounding at the hospital what that means and what it involves and kind of explain my two cents on it. So at the hospital at, in my unit at 10 a.m. every day, all the people that are kind of an the ancillary people, so to speak, involved in pat the patient's care come and round on each patient. So they start at one room, they kind of just walk through every room. And as a nurse, you at 10, around 10, you know, they're going to be coming by. So you kind of look out for them. And when they come by, you kind of do a mini report. So in my round team, there's always the ICU physician, social work dietary, sometimes a chaplain, the charge nurse, um, pharmacist. Um, sometimes there are more or less other people, but that's kind of like the main people that come. Just people that are involved in the patient's care, um, but not necessarily like at the bedside bedside, but just outside services. So it's still equally as important. And so they all come by and as a nurse, it's your job to kind of give a little snapshot of what this patient's day is supposed to look like. It's kind of a good way to set goals for that day and also communicate any like immediate needs or concerns that a patient or family might have. So for me personally, when the round team comes by, I like to just give a mini snapshot of, snapshot, is that the right word I'm looking for? I almost said snapchat, a mini snapchat of what this patient is here for and what's currently going on. Now, if they've been there for weeks and weeks, the people in the round team might already kind of know and have a, a gist. And sometimes like if nutrition or dietary is like not in the rounds for whatever reason that day, I might not even really touch base on that unless it's important. So I kind of like, um, why do I always want to say titrate, not titrate. I kind of develop my rounding um, little snapshot based on who's in the round team. Like if we're not, if we don't have as many people, then I'm not going, I, I don't want to, I basically tell them what I know they want to hear. <laughs> if that person's not in the round team, then I just don't really touch base on that unless it's relevant or important. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'll kind of explain. So usually I'll start with like just a mini history of what brought the patient in and maybe how they got up into the ICU and then I will go through just briefly like if they're on a ventilator, on any drips, um, any pending tests of things that we're waiting for, maybe the patient's status, maybe we have a family issue, maybe there's a care conference that day, um, have we started tube feeds yet, have we not, is the patient eating, are they not, um, are there any spiritual needs? Are there not? So whoever's in the group is kind of what I, um, I don't want to say titrate. I can't think of the word. Whatever I develop my little uh, spiel to. Uh, I think the important thing is to know that like depending on what hospital you're at, these people are rounding on a lot of people and like on our unit we have 24 beds. So potentially they can be rounding on 24 beds in our ICU, but then they also go over to the other ICU which has 20 beds. So if every nurse is communicating something for five minutes, that's like, that's a long time to be rounding. So keep it short, keep it concise, um, and base your report on what the people in the group want to hear. A lot of times I hear nurses, um, giving this long detailed report about what's going on and the round team's kind of like, okay, like I really don't care. Like, they just want to hear certain things. Dietary wants to know, you know, have we started tube feeds yet? Are we at goal with the tube feeds? Are they tolerating them? If not, are they, what are we going to do? And if you have any immediate concerns, it's a great time to talk to the physician about it. Like this is the medication that they're on and I'd like to get it converted to PO or IV. Is that okay? Like kind of a good time to get mini orders or hey like their kidney labs didn't look so good this morning do you want to consult renal and it's a good way to like ask those questions without having to like go bother the physician for one thing unless it's obviously urgent. I hope this gives you guys kind of a little um, idea of what rounds look like and it's obviously going to be different at every hospital um, and I only done rounds at in the ICU. I don't know if they do them everywhere, but I know a lot of places do do rounds. If you do do them and you have any words of advice, leave them down below. If you have any questions, leave that down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.